back. So this lesson, I just want to try and show you guys how we actually go all the way through the layers and all the way back just to make that clear once and for all. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to use our beautiful setup right here. What's going to happen is that we are going to start out with actually looking at the program and getting all customers. To do that, what's going to happen is the program is going to request the business logic layer and say, I need to access the business logic facade down here like this because I need access to an interface called the iCustomer service. Now he doesn't know anything about the iCustomer service and how it's going to be implemented. That's the difference. It's a contract, but he needs to get something from the customer service. Now behind the scenes, the customer service will be implemented like this guy. So the business logic layer will know this is the actual customer service I want to work with. That's why I'm trying to draw the line right here. The customer service is going to need the unit of work inside the data access layer. So he's going to say, Dear data access layer, can you provide to me a unit of work? But I don't know how you do the implementation. So all you have to do for me is pretty much just give me a unit of work using the interface, right? So that's all this layer knows about is the data access layer and the unit of work interface. Now the data access layer has to say, okay, okay, I need an implementation. I can't just live with a contract. I need to actually do the job, right? So that's why he knows about the unit of work down here like this. So he will know about the actual unit of work implementation down here. Okay, so that's how he grabs the data from um, for the da data access layer so he can pass it back to the service. Now the unit of work, he will know about repositories. So he will also expose right here the beautiful repository and again the unit of work will actually know how it should be implemented down here. So now we kind of have an access point all the way through here. It'll grab the data from the actual database in memory and send it all the way back through these arrows. So let's try and do this once more and this time I'll just put in the direct access going to the business logic layer using the customer service. The customer service goes to the unit of work or oh, sorry to the data access layer facade. The data access layer facade goes to the unit of work. The unit of work grabs the customer repository that knows how to get, it, get the data from the memory database and sends it all the way back to the system up to the program. Why is that smart? Because we've split all our, all our logic in different layers. So it's very easy for us to switch those out if we want to. And when we talk about unit testing and we talk about working in teams, this also will make a lot of sense. So now you know it. And next lesson, let me try and show the exact same example, just in code. See you next time.